Welcome to my channel. My name is Olivia. If you guys are new, welcome. If you guys are returning subscribers, hi, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. For today's video, I have a what's in my work tote featuring the tote bag by Marc Jacobs. And if you guys are interested in what I carry in my work bag, then keep on watching. Before we get into it, I just want to invite you guys to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I make videos on mostly handbags. I am a bagaholic and I'm obsessed. So if you guys enjoy watching handbag videos, a little bit of beauty, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. And without further delay, let me show you what I carry in my bag. So here is my tote bag. If you guys have been around for a while, you know that I work from home. I actually am 100% remote. Even before COVID started, I've been working remote for a little over 10 years, I think. So I do not go in the office and you may think it's extra to have a work bag when I work from home, but I do need it because my office is detached from my house. It is actually on top of a detached garage. I actually have a pretty sweet setup, I think. Um, and one of these days, maybe I'll give you a little tour of my office. This is my office right here in the background. This is basically what you see when I film. This is like my filming spot as well. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, I like to disconnect all of my stuff from my monitors and I like to take all of my work things with me in the house. And in the morning, I typically start my morning by turning on my computer. As I'm getting my kids ready for school, I have my work open, make sure I don't have any pressing like meetings for the day. I like to plan out my day. And once the kids are situated at school, they're dropped off and everything, I typically take all of my work stuff and I go up in my office and I connect it to my docking station and I use Use my monitors if I need to I don't always need to use my monitor but you know sometimes if you're working remote you can get distracted really easily so I need to go in my office to get some real work done so that is why I have a tote bag and sometimes you just need to get out of the house you know it's very lonely working remote and just being in the office by yourself. So sometimes I like to take my work with me to Starbucks or to the park or to the beach, wherever the day takes me. I live in San Diego, so I'm pretty spoiled with the beautiful weather we have here. So there's a lot of opportunities to, you know, take my work outside if I don't have like back-to-back -back meetings and stuff. Otherwise, if I do have a lot of meetings scheduled, I make sure that I stay put and I take all of my calls and meetings in my office. But anyways, this right here is my work bag for the moment. I switched out of my Longchamp Le Pliage tote to this one. I absolutely love how this bag is structured compared to my Longchamp. It just gives it a different look. And I love this beige color. I've had the black jacquard tote bag before in the small size, and that one just attracted a lot of lint. So I ended up selling that bag. And I also had the large denim tote by Marc Jacobs as well. And I ended up selling that too. So this is actually the only tote bag I have now in my possession but I love the tote bag. Even that jacquard one, it was just like so easy to carry around, so easy to put your things in, but I couldn't stand the lint. So when I got rid of that bag, I knew I had to add a tote bag back into my life. And I think this beige color is perfect. I haven't had any issues with lint so far, and it just looks really pretty. I love the color. I love the little writing on here. It's not too in your face. I think it's a little bit more subtle than the black one. And I just absolutely appreciate this bag as a tote bag. I've never worn this as a regular bag. It's, I think, too big for what I carry with me on an everyday basis. So I just 
strictly use this as a work bag. So anyways, let me just give you guys the dimensions and the details of this bag. It is a cotton canvas material. The one I have is in beige and the dimensions of the bag is as follows. It is 16.3 inches in height, 11.8 inches in width, and 5.5 inches in depth. So this is called the Traveler Tote Bag. Again, it's in the cotton canvas material. The two top handles here has a five inch drop from here to here. And the detachable strap has a 27 inch drop and I'm assuming that's at its longest setting so I'll show you guys what that looks like later on because I am going to include some mod shots with this bag it has the tote bag in the front so it's a tote bag Marc Jacobs and the back has this little logo patch right here where it says Marc Jacobs style the tote bag location NYC and year 1984 the strap again it's just it's a detachable strap and the material is i would say the same type of material or very similar to your seat belt in the car your car seat belt that's what it feels like and the hardware for the strap is silver it doesn't have any pockets on the outside but it does have this little side strap right here and People cannot figure out what to use this for. I don't know what it's for as well, but I use it to just hook my sunglasses right there. Now these sunglasses right here are from Amazon, so they're not anything fancy, they're not expensive. I'm not afraid to get this scratched up. It's very, very inexpensive. I'll link the description somewhere in the description box for you guys if you're interested. It's great, it's cheap, it's polarized. So I am actually loving those sunglasses as well. So going back to the bag, it has a zipped closure and my bag is not zipped at the moment, but let me go ahead and zip it up. I don't really feel the need to zip up this bag. I've never had any issues with my things falling out. I mean, unless like you tip your bag over, things can fall out, obviously. But I typically carry it unzipped, but this is what it looks like with all of my work stuff in there zipped up. Now, just as a disclosure, as you can see, I am working right now. Um, so I didn't want to disconnect my work laptop, but I do have a larger laptop that I'm using just as a demo for you guys. So what I have in here is actually a larger Lenovo ThinkPad laptop. So let me just show you guys how that all fits in here with all of my things. I have my laptop and everything else I carry and I'll show you guys that as I take these out of the bag. But I wanted to just show you guys that you can fit a larger laptop in here. The biggest laptop I have that I can show you is this Lenovo ThinkPad. And this one is actually 13 inches from here to here. And I believe if you measure it diagonally, it's 15 inches. So I don't know if this is considered a 15 inch laptop, but this definitely fits comfortably inside the bag. And it, as you can see, it still allowed me to zip up the bag. And I also have the MacBook Pro. So if you guys use the MacBook Pro, this is 12 inches from here to here, and it fits perfectly in the bag as well it's smaller than my lenovo so obviously it will fit in here so that's what it looks like if i'm carrying my macbook with me i just wanted to show you guys that and my work laptop right now is actually a dell latitude and it's 12.5 inches so it fits perfectly in my bag as well now going back to what i carry in here i have this little case that holds my headphones, it actually is like um, company 
property. We get to order our own supplies. So I ended up choosing the Jabra brand headset. I picked like the most expensive one because I don't know, I feel like the more expensive the product is, the better it is. I don't know if that's true, but I did pick one of the most expensive ones on the list. So that is what I use in my meetings. Um, and I like to take this with me just in case I need to be on a call and I'm not in my office. It has noise canceling. It also uh, eliminates background noises. So it's really great for meeting calls and all that stuff. So that's the first thing I have in there. Next, I have my Longchamp Cosmetics case. I put a bunch of like knickknacks and whatever in this one. I don't like to have things floating around in my bag. I like to keep things organized. So what I carry in here is just like sanitizers. I have a hair clip. I have uh, my little perfume and some lipstick. And I also have my wired headphones just in case I need them. So that is what I carry in this little cosmetic pouch right there. I have, and this totally doesn't look organized, <laughs> but I would carry my charger with me because you never know when your computer might die. And if you're not in the office, you want to make sure you can plug up so it does not die on you. I do put my name and my label and everything on my charger because my kids tend to just steal this. And I always tell them, look, I have chargers for work. It's from the company. It's not even mine. So don't take my charger. I'm sure if you guys have teenagers or, or kid and, and husband out there, you know, they always steal your chargers. So I make sure to label mine. So they're all aware that that is my work charger not to touch it. So I typically carry that with me as well. I have this little tripod and I like to hook up my phone in this thing and it also opens up like that. I like it because, you know, like even if I'm here working, I can put my phone on here. It goes like sideways that way and then I can watch like Netflix or Amazon Prime video, whatever, while I work. Sometimes I just like to have background noise. I don't like it when it's way too quiet. So sometimes I just like to have like a movie up or something while I work. Next, I have the Logitech Ergonomics mouse. It is wireless. I absolutely love using this little mouse. It has like a thumb roller. It takes some time to get used to when I first got it, but now I can't go back to the regular mouse. So I would highly recommend if you guys are looking for like an ergonomics mouse, this is available on Amazon and I will also link that for you guys in the description if you're interested. And finally, I have my pochette accessories. This one right here is actually the vintage version of the pochette accessories. I do have the newer model as well, but I purchased this one as a catch-all in my larger tote. But right now I'm actually using this as a handbag as well. So what you'll find in here is like my keys are in here. I have my card holder, my hand sanitizer again, and um, my key clay and a bunch of receipts and everything. So this is my handbag for the time being and I do carry it in the tote bag. So that way, like if I need to just go in the store really quick and I'm out and about with my tote bag for the day, I can just take this out and take this in the store instead of carrying this big bag with me. As I mentioned, this is strictly a work bag for me but it's great that it would fit my bag or my mini bags that I have for the week. So I do keep that in my tote bag. So that is all I have in this bag right now. I honestly don't really utilize the compartment, the zipped compartment inside. So I don't think I've shown you guys what the inside looks like. It's basically, do I have dirt in there? 
okay? So it's basically just one large compartment in there and it has this small side pocket here. So this area right here, this is how small it is. It's pretty flat, but you can put things in here and it will accommodate it as well. So this has a zipped compartment right here where you can put like your cell phone. If you don't have um, a catch-all or anything, you can put all of your little things in here, pens, your wallet, whatever you need to put, you can put that in there, but I don't really use that. Um, and then this like two slit pockets right here is big enough for you to put your phone in if you need to. I do use these pockets if I need to put my phone in my bag. So this is where I would put my phone. And I have an iPhone 11 Pro and it fits perfectly in there. So that is pretty much it on the inside of the bag. The inside is like just plain canvas like that, but it is coated. So what it feels like is like it's it's like kind of waxy. It's coated with like a wax type of material. And I think that that really helps in keeping the bag easy to maintain and easy to clean. So I really appreciate that. And then you'll see the little tag behind this little pocket right here, where it just tells you that the bag is made in Vietnam. So that is all I carry in my work bag. Wow, this bag is super light now that I have all of my stuff out. And just to let you guys know, this bag weighs 2.5 pounds without anything inside. I'm assuming it's with the strap, so it's 2.5 pounds. It's a very light bag. Okay guys, so let me show you some mod shots of this bag. I just put my laptop and my uh, pochette accessories back in there. I didn't put everything else because I didn't want it too heavy as I'm showing you mod shots, but I am five foot two for reference. And you can wear this bag just holding it on its top handles like this. You can also wear it on the crook of your arm like this. Although I might say that when you have it stuffed and if you have your laptop in here, it can get pretty heavy. So I typically do not use it by its handles. Um, when I'm carrying this bag, I always use the straps for it, but that is definitely a way that you can carry this bag and it's super cute. So as I was saying, I would usually wear this bag as a shoulder bag like this. or as a crossbody bag, like this. It is super comfortable. This strap is absolutely comfortable. It is um, easy on your shoulders. It doesn't dig into your shoulders. And I actually have not adjusted this strap since I got it. I've just kept it at this length, but you can certainly adjust it and make it shorter. And in order to do that, you would just need to pull this down like that. And there we go. It has this little leather um, piece right here but this is how the bag would look on its shortest setting, like that. And you can still wear it as a crossbody on its shortest setting. So just to show you what it looks like at its longest setting, let me adjust that for you guys. So this is how it would look at its longest setting and as a crossbody. So it definitely has a good range of length 
with this strap. So I guess that's a good thing, but definitely too long for me right here. I haven't really traveled since I got this bag, but I imagine like if I was to go travel anywhere, I would definitely take this bag. I love how it has that zipped closure. It will keep all my things intact. I honestly would prefer to travel with this than my Neverfull bag. So yeah, I think this is a great work tote as well as a travel tote, and it definitely fits a lot of things. So I cannot recommend this bag enough to you guys, specifically this beige color. It is very pretty. And honestly, you guys, if you are worried about lint, do not get the black color at all. Get a lighter color because it is going to bother you like it bothered me and I ended up selling those bags. I absolutely love this bag. I am considering getting the mini size of this bag. I don't know yet if I want to get the mini size in the canvas or spend a little extra and get the leather version, the black leather as well as the brown, I think it's called argan oil is absolutely beautiful so i don't know we'll see i i i don't know i kind of think that the mini size is in my future but you'll have to wait and see so that is all i have for you today i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful i cannot recommend this bag enough it is a great tote bag i imagine it would be a great school bag as well as it will fit your laptop and your notebook or whatever you need to carry it's very roomy and i think it will also make a great travel tote so i can't recommend it enough if you guys are considering this bag Go ahead and get it, you'll love it. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that notification bell. I would love to have you join my YouTube family. If you have any questions or comments for me, leave them down in the comment section below. As always, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I hope you have a fabulous day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.